In the operating room, a young man was lying on the operating bed. Doctors were preparing to operate on the brain cancer of the young man named Yi Hang. Yi Hang hoped anxiously that the operation would go smoothly. The doctor told him to think of something during the surgery. He thought about himself seeing a woman from afar. After two years of surgery, Yi Hang, accompanied by his mother, is still undergoing brain control. His doctor said that Yi Hang's brain cancer surgery was a success. But Yi Hang chose to wait outside the doctor's office instead of sitting next to her mother and listening to the doctor speak. Yi Hang saw a little boy who also had cancer like he used to. The child waved at Yi Hang. Then the boy's father called out to him. Yi Hang watched them talk. The little girl said that the nurse told her that her father didn't eat well. But his father said that he ate well. Then mom and Yi Hang were about to go home. But the parking attendant asked mom for more money because of the extra time. Yi Hang's mother, Wei, tried various ways to avoid paying the extra parking fee. Yi Hang's mother worked as an accountant, but she didn't work anymore to take care of Yi Hang. A few minutes later, Yi Hang arrived home. She had lunch with her mother and father. Yi Hang's father was an employee of a medium-sized company. But when Yi Hang was sick, his father became a sculptor. In the middle of their meal, Yi Hang decided to finish his lunch. He saw his father and mother arguing. Mom made a carrot that dad had carved into the shape of a duck. A short time later, Yi Hang's friend Wu Xiaomi arrived. He hurriedly entered and then went to the toilet. Wu Xiaomi has a wig shop in front of the hospital. He invited Yi Hang to come to the A Cow event, a cosplay event. Yi Hang confidently did not want to come to the event because he was not familiar with anything about cosplay. But Wu Xiaomi forced her to come. So did Yi Hang's mother and father who told her to socialize and meet many people. The next day, Yi Hang came to the AQ cosplay event. Wu Xiaomi was happy to see Yi Hang come. Then he gave Yi Hang a red wig. A while later, Yi Hang's mother called the video. Yi Hang showed the atmosphere of the location. But he accidentally bumped into a woman who cosplayed as a frog clown. Then Yi Hang's cell phone entered the woman's frog costume. Yi Hang tried to end the video call with her mother. At the end of the call, Yi Hang's mother said that she would pick Yi Hang up later. The girl irritably took Yi Hang's cell phone that had gotten into her costume. Yi Hang thanked the woman. But she mocked Yi Hang by saying Mama's boy. At noon, Bu Wai picks up Yi Hang. Not far from the A Cow event location, Mrs. Wee stopped for a moment. She saw a woman wearing a frog costume. It turned out that she was the person in memorial service. Her mother greeted the woman who was fixing her broken down motorcycle. Finally, Mrs. Wei offered her a ride. Yi Hang felt awkward sitting next to her. The girl introduced herself. Her name was Mike Xiao Yuan. Then Mei Hang reluctantly introduced himself to Xiao Yuan. He even told her that he had cancer. Instead of feeling sorry or disgusted, Xiao Yuan asked what stage of cancer. Yi Hang replied that he had stage 2 brain cancer. Xiao Yuan said that she had already had stage 2 cancer when she was 5 years old. Yi Hang was shocked to hear that. Later that evening, Yi Hang got information about Xiao Yuan's social media accounts. He quickly opened his laptop and searched for it. Suddenly, his mother came over. His mother saw Yi Hang who was shocked and closed his laptop, thinking Mai Hang was looking at adult videos. But in fact, Yi Hang was watching Xiao Yuan live. At the end of her live stream, Xiao Yuan said that tomorrow in the group session, there is a teacher named Mr. Zhang who will come to give encouraging material to cancer and tumor fighters. The next day, Yi Hang went to the group session as directed by Xiao Yuan. He sees that Wu Xiaomi and Xiao Yuan are present. Moments later, Mr. Zhang appointed Yi Hang to tell the story of how Yi Hang regained his spirits after finding out he had a tumor. But the truth was that Yi Hang didn't believe in miracles. He said that the miracle was when he woke up and he wasn't sick with a tumor. The participants and Xiao Yuan were speechless. Yi Hang also said that Mr. Zhang was a fraud who was trying to manipulate feelings. Xiao Yuan felt confused and angry at Yi Hang's attitude. She challenged Yi Hang to take off his shirt if Yi Hang really thought cancer was nothing to him. Yi Hang confidently took off his shirt in front of everyone. Then he decided to go home. The next afternoon, Yi Hang accompanied her mother shopping. A while later, Xiao Yuan called. She said that someone was going to make a documentary about cancer patients. The person wanted to record Yi Hang voicing her opinion like she did at Mr. Zhang's event. Then Xiao Yuan came to Yi Hang's house. Then Yi Hang expressed his opinion and Xiao Yuan's colleague recorded. Afterwards, Xiao Yuan said that Yi Hang looked nervous. But Yi Hang didn't feel nervous. Then he made a drink mixed with sauce and milk. He challenged Xiao Yuan if she wanted to ask Yi Hang for a favor. But Xiao Yuan didn't drink it. She realized that Yi Hang made a drink just like her during a live broadcast. Yi Hang was surprised to hear that. He didn't expect Xiao Yuan to know about it. Later that night, Yi Hang received a message from Xiao Yuan telling him to watch her live streaming. Yi Hang saw Xiao Yuan mixing soy sauce, yogurt, and some other ingredients and drinking it. Xiao Yuan said that she had done something stupid today. Soon Xiao Yuan asked Yi Hang if he was still angry. 
Then she said that she would take Yi Hang to dinner. The next day, Yi Hang came to the house that was also Xiao Yuan's father's Bengal. His father, Lao Ma, invited Yi Hang to wait in his office. A short while later, Xiao Yuan called him. She told Yi Hang to sit in her room while she dressed up. Afterward, they went to a barbecue restaurant. Yi Hang saw Xiao Yuan eating voraciously without fear of the potentially cancer causing food. After that, Xiao Yuan took Yi Hang to a place. They spread a mat and sat down. They talked about many things and joked about what happened after the craniotomy. Yi Hang said that he could see the future. Yi Hang explains that he saw a lake and there was a girl there, but he couldn't see her face clearly. Xiao Yuan says that it might be a parallel world. Yi Hang began to enjoy their conversation. Then he told her that he felt sleepy when he woke up, felt too tired to eat, and he couldn't get little red flowers in kindergarten. After that, Xiao Yuan drove Yi Hang home. Yi Hang seemed happy all night. The next day, Yi Hang got a message from Xiao Yuan. She wanted to invite Yi Hang to meet someone. Immediately, Yi Hang left, leaving her mother and father eating. Xiao Yuan took her to meet someone who often played in nature. The man said that Xiao Yuan sent him many messages asking him to meet Yi Hang. But Yi Hang felt that he couldn't be like the man who could do activities in nature. Xiao Yuan told him that she wanted to make Yi Hang happy. But Yi Hang looked unhappy if Xiao Yuan sent many messages to men. Xiao Yuan easily guessed that Yi Hang was jealous. All day, Yi Hang just played with his cell phone. But in the evening, Xiao Yuan invited Yi Hang to go somewhere. They arrive in a fish market. Xiao Yuan said that they would start their trip to Gabsby Beach in South Africa. It turned out that Xiao Yuan and her friends prepared everything so that Yi Hang could feel adventurous like in the original location. After that, they dressed up as if they were in the polar north. Then they entered the cooling room and saw stuffed penguins and lights that resembled aurora lights. Then they continued their journey to the Dead Sea. They took a dip in an artificial pool and pretended like they were on the beach. They also climbed a tall ladder to make it look like they were climbing the Himalayas. Then to the Grand Canyon of Colorado, they dressed up as hikers. They also went to the Sahara Desert. They played in the sand and ran up pretending to run out of drinking water like in the Sahara Desert. Then they went to La Salto Engel in Venezuela and visited the fountain in the city park. Yihang was very happy because with Xiao Yuan he felt like a normal person. In the afternoon, Yihang and Xiao Yuan ate together at a restaurant. Yihang saw a picture that was exactly the same as the lake he often imagined. Then he showed it to Xiao Yuan. But not long after, Yihang fainted. Yihang's parents took him to the hospital. The doctor said that the results would be out soon. When he got home, Yihang said that he wanted to go hiking. But her mother forbade her because she was afraid that Yihang would get sicker. One day, Yihang and his parents attended his cousin's birthday party at the hotel. Then Yihang was asked to take his cousin to the toilet. When he returned from the toilet, he heard his father's siblings talking about Yihang. They said that they would help Yi Hang's parents financially. Hearing this, Yi Hang felt sad. He deliberately went into the room to ask permission to go home first. When Yi Hang arrived at the front of the house, Xiao Yuan was waiting for him. She asked why Yi Hang did not answer her messages and calls, but Yi Hang said that he was fine. Xiao Yuan wanted to take him to see a therapist. Yi Hang felt annoyed with her. He said that Xiao Yuan's habit of wanting to take care of others was a bad obsession. Xiao Yuan left immediately. The next day, he came to Wu Xiaomi's place. He did not see Xiao Yuan there. Then Wu Xiaomi said that the girl had not come for several days. In the evening, Yi Hang checked Xiao Yuan's profile and found that she had blocked Yi Hang. He then went to Xiao Yuan's house drunk and in the rain. A few moments later, Xiao Yuan came over to Yi Hang. Yi Hang looked a little relieved. He said what made him block Yi Hang. Then Xiao Yuan said that they agreed to meet another time when they had recovered. Yi Hang stopped what Xiao Yuan was saying because he wanted to talk under the influence of alcohol. Yi Hang told her about his old self who wanted to live away from other people. Even when eating, Yi Hang sat in the corner so that others would not know that he was sick. The reason was because he was afraid of dying after opening up to others. Until one day, he met Xiao Yuan who made him feel normal. Yi Hang didn't want to let her go. In fact, every time Yi Hang woke up, Xiao Yuan's face was the first to appear. Every night, he heard all the voice messages Xiao Yuan sent him. Until one day, Yi Hang realized that he had cancer. Yang also felt that God hated him because every time he felt happy, God would soon make him sad again. Xiao Yuan disagreed with Yi Hang's opinion. She pointed out that there are people who are unluckier than Yi Hang. Like the old woman looking for her lost grandson and the mute young man working as a food courier. Xiao Yuan said that they are still struggling to get through life. Suddenly, Yi Hang revealed that he liked Xiao Yuan. Then the girl hugged Yi Hang. Xiao Yuan invited him to go to her house to wash off the rain. Moments later, Yi Hang's parents came over. They didn't expect Yi Hang to have left secretly and drunk alcohol. Xiao Yuan's father told her that he saw their children embracing in the middle of the street under the pouring rain. 
Xiao Yuan's father took Yi Hang's parents on a tour of the house. Then Xiao Yuan drew a little red flower on Yi Hang's hand. The next morning, Xiao Yuan said that she knew where the lake was in Yi Hang's imagination. But Yi Hang wasn't as excited as before because her mother didn't give him money for his vacation. Xiao Yuan asked him to sell something to earn some money. At the cafe, Yi Hang saw his father driving. In the evening, Yi Hang cooked a meal for his father because his mother was sleeping. In the morning, Yi Hang went to Wu Xiaomi's wig shop. He asked him for information about medicine trial volunteers. At dinner, Yi Hang told his parents that he wanted to go to the lake in his imagination with Xiao Yuan. He sold some toys online. Yi Hang's father got angry because he didn't want his son to push himself. In addition, his father found out that his son was not taking his medicine. Yi Hang replied that he wanted to determine his own path in life. But his father said Yi Hang didn't belong to himself, but to his father and mother. Yi Hang was fed up with his life. He realized that since he was sick, his parents had never bought anything new. He was angry with himself. He even decided to go to Wu Xiaomi's place. But he told him to go home. Yi Hang thinks that he complained to Yi Hang's parents. Wu Xiaomi told her that Yi Hang's parents were very worried about her. Afraid that someone would treat her badly. Then Yi Hang decided to go home. But his father was waiting downstairs at Wu Xiaomi's house. He bought medicine for Yi Han. He also told Yi Hang to do whatever kids his age did, such as going traveling. One week passed, Yi Hang, accompanied by his parents and Xiao Yuan, went to the doctor to collect the examination results. The doctor advised Yi Hang to take his medicine so that he could go wherever he wanted. They were very happy to hear the doctor's statement. Then Yi Hang and Xiao Yuan went to the lake in Qinghai by train. They enjoyed the trip. When they were about to go to bed, Xiao Yuan asked if the woman Yi Hang saw in his imagination was Xiao Yuan. Yi Hang replied that it was Xiao Yuan. In the morning, Yang woke up, but he didn't see Xiao Yuan in the bed beside him. It turned out that Xiao Yuan had taken a shower. When she approached Yi Hang, Xiao Yuan fell unconscious. Finally, they had to stop their trip. Xiao Yuan had to be taken to the hospital. Her father came to the station to take Xiao Yuan with the ambulance. Yi Hang's parents also came to see how Xiao Yuan was doing. When they arrived at the hospital, Yi Hang accompanied her. Xiao Yuan looked weak and discouraged. Yi Hang tried to encourage her. But instead, Xiao Yuan told him not to visit her anymore because soon Xiao Yuan's hair would be cut bald. In the evening, Yi Hang printed Xiao Yuan's picture, but the printer got stuck. Then, Yi Hang's mother helped him. Finally, they managed to print Xiao Yuan's childhood photos. Mrs. Wei told Yi Hang about what Yi Hang was afraid of as a child and also what his mother was afraid of when Yi Hang was with her. His mother said that she was afraid of Yi Hang being hurt by others or getting Yi Hang into trouble. Then Yi Hang asked what his mother was afraid of now. It turned out that his mother was afraid of losing Yi Hang. His mom was in tears. Mom asked what Yi Hang was afraid of. Yi Hang said he was afraid of being called Mama's boy. But Mom knew that Yi Hang was afraid of losing Xiao Yuan. Then Yi Hang asked what if Mom and Dad lost him. Mom didn't answer him, she left Yi Hang in the room. The next day, Yi Hang went to Wu Xiaomi's place. The man asked how Xiao Yuan was doing. Then Yi Hang said that Xiao Yuan was very frustrated. Wu Xiaomi told him that his wife used to be very passionate about fighting cancer, and she was not afraid of the disease. But passionate people could also lose their passion, Wu Xiaomi said. Then Wu Xiaomi invited Yi Hang to eat with cancer friends. He said goodbye to returning home and living with his parents. They felt sad to hear Wu Xiaomi's words, but they still have to be passionate about fighting cancer. In the evening, Mai Hang received a video message from his father and mother. The video contained his parents' answers about what they would do if they lost Yi Han. The video was of Yi Hang's parents' activities from morning to night. They went to the movies, read books, went to cancer family gatherings, ate dinner together, and went home together. At the end of the video, mom and dad said that they would fill each other with happiness. Then he shaved his hair off. He called Xiao Yuan to show her that he was bald like her. Xiao Yuan was surprised to see him. Yi Hang also made a drink mixed with soy sauce, sauce, vinegar, and some other ingredients, and then he drank it. He promised that Xiao Yuan was his one and only. Yi Hang decided to sleep in the hospital so that he could keep an eye on Xiao Yuan. Xiao Yuan told him that she wanted to go to the lake with Yi Han. She said it seemed like she didn't exist in Yi Hang's future. Then Yi Hang said she was already in his future, getting married, having children, and growing old together. Then Xiao Yuan asked him to go somewhere together. They went to the railroad tracks and walked. Then Xiao Yuan asked about the parallel universe. She wanted to live under different circumstances together with Yi Han. The next day, Xiao Yuan left Yi Hang forever. Then Yi Hang met Xiao Yuan's father. He gave him a photo album of Xiao Yuan. Xiao Yuan's father looked happy and sad. One year later, Yi Hang was in the classroom. But the class ended soon after. He decided to go to the lake in Qinghai. When he got there, a few minutes later, a woman called his name. 
But it turned out that there was another man who also had the name Yi Hang. Finally, Yi Hang realized that the imagination he had been seeing was not a future, but a parallel world that was much better. Bei Hang said, in that parallel world, Tao Hui and Wei Jiang have a son who lives a healthy life. Mr. Mei and Mrs. Mei also had a healthy daughter. The man who sat with his daughter did not lose his daughter. The old woman waiting for her grandson will not lose him. Then Wu Xiaomi became a comedian. There never was a support group for cancer patients, either. Everyone lived as healthy as their dreams. Meanwhile, Yi Hang and Xiao Yuan lived happily together inseparably. Then Ye Hang continued his journey. He went to a field that filled with sheep that had little red flower marks on their bodies. Yi Hang felt both happy and sad. He didn't expect he could do what he couldn't do before, even though he wasn't with Xiaoyuan.